Hi right, YouTube, it's me TFR Wilderness again and it's KTRT review time again with the second of this month's Korean toys I've got to show you. Um, now as I said in my last video, uh, the theme for this month's Korean toy reviews is the colour pink. <laughs> uh, you saw I did uh, Robot Trains Maxi last week. This week I have got um, uh, a figure, a character that I've got a, a previous version of, which I did a review on last year. And uh, that is this gal. This is a Mini Force X Lucy Bot. And to be honest, this thing is pretty crap. Um, it was from you know, the Mini Force X toy line, which was the, uh, the third season of uh, Mini Force. Uh, where they they changed the design of the uh, the robots completely. Um, they changed toy manufacturer because they used to be made by Sonocon, and they they went over to a new toy manufacturer called Gaia. And these were the first products, well, for the Mini Force line anyway, that was made by Gaia. And uh, I did a review on this, and uh, yeah, it comes apart as part of the combiner gimmick because it forms the arms, but generally it's it's it, it's very light, very sort of flimsy, restricted joints. Uh, the aesthetics, it, it looks okay in robot mode and car mode, but you know, overall it's, it, it's not a particularly great figure. But uh, yeah, so that's Mini Force X Lucy Bot. Now what I've got to show you now is Mini Force Penta X Lucy Bot. So season four, they tried again and they did a completely new combiner with brand new bots. So each of the Mini Force characters got a new vehicle mode. So they tried it again. And uh, I did a review on one last month. I did uh, Mini Force Penta X Voltbot. I decided to do him because, you know, it turns into that blue Humvee and he's, he's a half decent figure. And this is the second figure from the Mini Force X, well, Penta X line. And only and this is probably only the second one and only one that I'm going to be doing because I'm not really interested in getting any of the others because the aesthetic on them just just doesn't really work for me. They don't look particularly great, um, but I decided to get this one because it looked kind of interesting. And going on the the build quality and the aesthetic of uh, you no know, Volt Bar, I decided to go with this. So I got this. So this is. Mini Force Penta X Lucy Bot in a cement truck mode. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> a Fembot that turns into a cement truck. You know, a concrete mixer. You know, it's like what? <laughs> That's a hardly befitting of a of a of a, of a Fembot, is it really? But nevertheless, they went there. They they built it, so they made this. And uh, before we get any further, let's have a quick look at packaging. So here's the box, fairly typical uh, Korean box. It's it's quite large, lots of uh, you no know, flashy colours and, and artwork, lots of logos on, you know CGI renders of the uh, robot and the uh, alt mode on the sides. On the back, obviously, it shows the uh, the Pentarex combiner, which is uh, as you can see they've got uh, Leo, who's the extra bot, because before it was just Volt, Sammy, Max, and Lucy. And yeah, it's a, it's a fairly typical box. It comes with the usual sort of instructions. And there you get uh, you get this. So this is a Pentarex Lucy bot in alt mode. And it's a big shocking pink or, or, or no, hot pink cement truck. <laughs> uh, no, concrete mixer. Um, it's, it's pretty cool. I like it. It's, it, it's quite large. It's, it's heavy. It's got uh, quite a few details on it. Um, it's got, you know, it's got wing mirrors. It's got exhaust stacks. It's got like a mixer drum. It's got the uh, the bit where you, you know, that you pour the the cement, well, pour the cement in at the uh, at the top, and then you know the bit that comes out the back. It's got mud guards. It's got big wheels. It's got fuel tanks. You know, it's it's pretty detailed for an alt mode. Um, and uh, yeah. Not, not much more you can say about it. Let's do a quick comparison with uh, with uh, Lucy Bot from the uh, previous lines alt mode. Just give me a moment to uh, to transform it. So 
So yeah, there's Lucy Bot's alt mode from the previous line, and here's her new one. Now, as you can see, the new Lucy Bot is quite large. It's it's a lot longer. It's a lot taller. It's damn sight heavier. Um, the car mode for the previous one is um, it's not too bad. But obviously the, the, the main difference, apart from obviously the type of vehicle mode, is the colour pink that they've used. I mean, they went for a, like a pastel pink or a light pink with this one. And they've gone with a, a much darker, more, you know, grown up sort of pink colour with this one. So, there we go. So that is the alt mode. It's uh, It's got large wheels. It, uh, it rolls exceedingly well. Um, the only problem I've got is with these bits on the back. You see these bits here, they fold up for transformation and they, they sort of peg in here. Sometimes if you don't get the arms quite lined up right, they, they keep they keep popping out like that. They keep popping out. So yeah, it's difficult to get them to, to peg in quite right. Um, but apart from that, it's it's not bad. It's 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 all right, and I quite like it. So there's not much more you can say about the alt mode. So let's get into transformation, shall we? Right. So transformation's quite uh, quite easy on this. Um, first of all, you sort of pull the mixer drum out a little bit, then fold those down, turn it around, unpeg the arms. You can sort of fold up the uh, exhaust stacks. Then fold up the wheels, bring up the arms, like so. Turn the waist round, slide it up, and then the legs. You split the legs, fold down the knees, and then bring out bring out the feet, sort of push in at the top, and then bring the foot out. And then it's just a matter of repositioning everything. And there we have Pentarex LucyBot in robot mode, and looks pretty cool. Um, again, different aesthetic to uh, the original one. Again, let's uh, let's uh, let's uh, <laughs> have to transform it back. Obviously, I didn't. I did these the wrong way around, so I'm gonna have to transform it again. So just give me a moment. Yep. So there we go. A quick size comparison with uh, the uh, the previous um, Mini Force X Lucy Bot, and as you can see, the this one is slightly taller. And you can make it even taller still if you uh, pull out these bits, which is actually for the uh, the uh, combiner mode. Um, gives a you know, slightly longer legs. Um, I don't think this is right for the robot mode. I think when I did my re initial review, I actually had these pulled out when they, they should have been uh, collapsed like that. But uh, never mind. So yeah, she she is. This one is slightly bigger, but. Yeah, this one just feels so much more hollow and rattly compared to this one. This one feels a lot more solidly built. While we're in size comparisons, let's do a quick size comparison with my usual size comparison, which is Combiner Wars Megs. And as you can see, she's slightly smaller than Combiner Wars Megs. So, there is that. Um, again, nice aesthetic. Um, lots of... Uh, Lots of chunky bits on the legs and on the arms, very bulky arms. Um, decent head sculpt. And it's got a bit of kibble on the back, obviously, being a cement mixer. Um, cement mixer also has a, like a, a ring that runs around right there like that. And it's got some handles on it, but we'll get to them in a bit. Now, there we go. Now, Articulation on this thing is a little bit better than the other one. For instance, it has a head rotation. Now, one thing I will say about the head, when you look on the head, it's got this white 
it's on this white platform which looks like it's hinged or slotted looks like it should you know should um, fold away or, or or slide down into the body when you transform it into the alt mode but it doesn't it's it's fixed so it's got a bit of visible head syndrome and the head only goes so far to one side and it does ride up a bit on this collar when you're turning it but anyway, at least it's got a head rotation shoulders go up and down and down like that on this transformation joint here um, it can go round like that obviously this this wheel does in, stop the arm from going backwards too far um, elbow ratcheted 90 degrees uh, the uh, the other figure does have double um, yeah it's got that's got double ratchets so it has, that's got one up on the uh, on this figure in that regard uh, now this does have wrist rotations or, or wrist yeah wrist rotations um, mainly due to the uh, the uh, the gimmick with the uh, the mixer drum which I'll show you in a bit so we'll straighten that out now. This thing has got a fixed waist because the mixer drum plugs in to the back, but you can unplug the mixer drum and then you've got a waist joint because the waist does rotate as part of the transformation. It's a transformation joint, but you can use it as a waist joint. So that's good. Now the hips. Now the, the thing about the hips, let's just move that out of the way. You've got these, these hip guards, these hip flaps down the side, which look look like they're hinged but they're not they're fixed which is a bit of a shame because then it, it restricts the amount of outward motion a little bit you only get that much as regards to spread uh, leg goes forward obviously this gets in the way especially on one of the legs because it's got the combiner port attached to the back of it so you know you look at, look at the legs you see that one's that's the combiner port and uh, this one's all nice and bare so Let's uh, do the articulation with that leg. You can see, yeah, it can go back and go forwards. Now, knees. Uh, there is a bit of a restriction on the knees. It only has two clicks. One click forward, one click back. Um, so, yeah, it only does about not even 45 degrees on the knee. And it's a shame because if they'd have hollowed out the back of the legs you could have got more articulation you know going back on the leg but they, they didn't also the ratchets are, are, are kind of coarse they're there but they're, they're a bit coarse and uh, it can be a bit fidgety getting this gal to, to stand up straight uh, and then obviously uh, like I said not much in the way of the knees um, no thigh swivels no bicep swivels has got a waist joint and then the feet Again, they've got like the uh, the angled cut for a neutral A stance, and the foot just sort of folds away for transformation. So it's not flush with decent articulation. In some ways, this thing has got more articulation than this, but and vice versa. So it swings and roundabouts between the two. But but this one sort of wears its its robot mode so much better than that, and it's 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 a lot better built it's a lot more solid and uh, it does have an extra gimmick now the mixer drum it is removable it just clips into the back and then it's got these handles on the side which you can pull out and if you look on the box art on the side of the box art you can see you've got this artist impression here of uh, Lucy Bot using the mixer drum drum as some sort some sort of gun or cannon, you know, just uh, pull the handles out and then brace it up against her uh, chest and uh, shoot off some sort of beam beam from it. Now the toy can do this to some extent. Um, in the artist impression, it's got the arms bent. Now that doesn't work on this because. I don't think it works. I'm going to try it. So you have to rotate the fists to the horizontal plane. And then you, you, you slot the arms in. But it doesn't... Hmm. 
think you try it with the arms out straight and then I think it works. Now getting this to do this is difficult because as you can see she doesn't grip the handles properly. I mean they, they, they're, they're round pegs in you know, a loose, loosely gripping hand and it just does not go together. So if you turn the fists round No, that doesn't make any difference either. So yeah, it is difficult to get it to do that that thing in the uh, in the art holding the uh, the mixer drum as a, as a weapon. Um, can't hold it properly, so that's a shame. But uh, put that up there, straighten it out. So yeah, it's it's not bad. Um, I'm reasonably impressed with it. Um, it's got a decent weight. The build quality is pretty good. Articulation is okay. A um, little bit restricted on the legs, but you know the arms and the upper torso and the waists make up for that. Nice aesthetic. Um, far superior build quality to uh, to this thing. I mean, it's like these are both made by Gaia, and Gaia are obviously learning because if this is what you know their next generation. Uh, toys that they make are like compared to you know, their first effort. Their second effort is 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 much 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 better, um, and yeah, it's it's not a bad figure. It's a decent figure, and uh, I'm, I'm glad that I got it. Um, so yeah, Lucy Bot Pentarex. Oh yeah, oh yeah. But no, actually no. Before we uh, before we finish off, obviously this thing is part of a combiner. It, it converts into a leg, um, so. To go into leg mode, you basically transform it back into vehicle mode. And then you turn this piece round. And then that's basically the leg mode because you've got the got the combiner joint there, and this is a foot. So that's the uh, that's the combiner mode, the leg mode for the combiner. So yeah, it has got uh, a combiner mode, but uh, it's quite easy to work with to transform. You know, there's not not much to it. So there we go. Um, yeah, it's decent. It's it's a, a half decent toy. Um, it's not too bad. It's better than <laughs> the original uh, Mini Force X figures, and uh, I quite like it. It's it's all right. It's not perfect, um, but it is definite a definite improvement in many respects to you know the previous Mini Force toy line. So that's been my review of uh, Mini Force uh, Penter X Lucybot. I've been TFR Wilderness, hopefully you've enjoyed this review and I'll catch you all next time, ta-da.